We are Mingo Creek Craft Distillers. We're a family-owned distillery in historic Washington, Pennsylvania. We took our name from the Mingo Creek Society, and that was the group of farmers that banded together in 1794 to protest the federal excise tax on distilled spirits. We have a 300-gallon distilling operation. At the core of that is our 300-gallon American-made copper whiskey still. We had this still handmade for us by a craftsman in Maine. We are a grain-to-glass distiller. Uh, that means that we use grains from local farms in Washington and Westmoreland County. The corn that we use for our bourbon is very special to us. Uh, we use an heirloom, non-GMO variety of corn called Bloody Butcher. Uh, Bloody Butcher is a very rare corn to use in the whiskey world, uh, simply because its yield is so low. Uh, the yield on, on an acre of Bloody Butcher corn is about 25% of what a farmer could get on a, an acre of uh, number two yellow dern corn. It just makes fantastic whiskey. Our distillery consists of our tasting room, which we call the meeting house. Uh, we also have a private dining room we use for private tastings. We call our tasting room the meeting house because the Mingo Creek Society used to meet in a place called the Mingo Creek Meeting House to plan their protests. Our whiskeys are all branded as Liberty Pole Spirits. Uh, the Mingo Creek Society would place Liberty Poles, which were simply poles with scraps of muslin or fabric that had no excise tax written on them. They would place these poles around the countryside in town squares, and it was their way of rallying support from the public to their cause. My uh, sons and my wife are, are fully involved in the business. Uh, we have friends and family that have just been uh, an unbelievable help to us. It's beyond my wildest dreams that we've been able to start this family business.